I've been watching birds for over 50 years, but sometimes I still have trouble separating coopers from sharp-shinned hawks. Do you often struggle to identify these birds yourself? I have three tips for you. We're going to look at head shape, cap on adult birds, and breast streaking on immature birds. You can still use the traditional size and tail end shape field marks, but I think you're going to immediately start identifying more birds with these three tips I show you. So what makes the identification of Cooper's hawks and sharp shins so difficult? Sharp shinned and Cooper's hawks are very similar. Both have short round wings and fairly long tails, making them distinctive from other hawks, but not from each other. Females are larger than males. At their extreme end, you can separate coopers and sharp-shinned hawks by their size. The smallest male sharp-shinned hawks are the size of jays. The largest female coopers hawks are the size of crows. But most of the birds you will encounter are in between. They are the size of collared doves. Judging size is very hard with nothing to compare. Identifying these birds by size alone, then, will lead to more wrong than right identifications. A key field mark for these birds is the tail end shape squared or rounded. If you get a good look and it's obvious, then you can be certain of your identification. But judging this is not always easy because of molt, viewing angle, or the bird fanning its tail. Immature and adult birds look different. These hawks stay in their streaky immature plumage for their first year of life. Especially in the fall, you will likely see more immatures than adults. Cooper's hawks have become more common in recent decades and are more likely to be found in towns. Thus, you may not get the experience of seeing both species as often as birders in the past. The behavior of these birds makes them hard to observe. They often sit quietly, hidden in a tree. Then they burst out suddenly to chase small bird prey through the branches and disappear again. Often seeing them is a surprise and the view is brief. All these things make the identification of these hawks a well-known birding challenge. Let me tell you how I go about identifying these hawks using the three tips that I have for you. First, I do go ahead and try to judge size and tail end shape as you've probably been doing yourself. Do this quickly before the bird flies away you're only trying to see if this is perhaps one of the obvious individuals. Then, look at the head. The larger bill of Cooper's hawk merges into the forehead and flat crown in a continuous line. The eye is placed forward on the head under a deep eyebrow ridge, giving a fierce look. On the other hand, the smaller bill of the sharp-shinned hawk seems stuck on the front of the round head with an abrupt, steep forehead. The eye is placed more to the center of the head. I believe it was Nate Swick who I heard describe the look of sharp-shinned hawks as a surprised parakeet. Again, this is just a quick impression. Head shape adds to the impression of size and tail end shape. These three items can be determined with a quick look. Now you must determine whether the bird you are looking at is an adult or an immature. For this, look at the breast. Adults are blue-gray above and have fine, thin, red horizontal barring across the chest. Immatures have brown upper parts and thick, dark vertical streaking on the breast. Once you know you are looking at an adult, observe the contrast between the top of the crown and the hind neck. Adult Cooper's hawks have a dark cap, contrasting strongly with the paler cheek and hind neck. On adult sharp-shinned hawks, the dark crown merges into the hind neck with little contrast. Both are dark and contrast with the paler cheeks. The field guides tell you that the breast streaking on immature birds is fine in Cooper's hawk and coarse in sharp shinned hawk. Frankly, until I was able to look at several photos, I didn't know what was meant. Looking at immature Cooper's hawks, we can see that each individual breast feather is pale with a thin dark shaft streak going vertically down the middle of the feather and ending in a small dark ball in the middle of the broad feather tip. These streaks start off thin and sharply defined. 
the color of the streaks are very dark brown. There may be a few feathers on the flanks with broad horizontal bars across them, but these are few and not in the center of the chest. On the other hand, the vertical feather streaking on the breast of sharp-shinned hawks is broader and diffuse with numerous thick horizontal bars. The color of the breast streaking on this species is paler brown or reddish brown. Add head shape, cap contrast, and breast streaking to tail end shape, and starting today, you'll be confidently identifying more coopers and sharpshin hawks. Click here to watch my identification video separating lesser black-backed from yellow-footed gulls.